Good afternoon, guys. Well, today has been crazy, like boring, I guess you could say. Been working on just schoolwork all day. Um, trying to get caught up from when we had the fire and things were kind of chaotic and didn't know what was going with my family and then I got sick. So I'm trying to get everything caught up, which pretty much everything is. I'm on top of this week's assignments. I'm still trying to get week two's assignments finished. Um, and most of that is just watching videos and some of the videos because they detail information about art and photography and stuff like that. And so they're very lengthy. And so, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. But I just also want to say thank you guys. The Jamly, you guys are amazing. Like, seriously, you guys are absolutely amazing. I love being able to see people come into the community and into our our Jamly. I mean, the Jamly is so strong now. Um, and seeing you guys band together and really, you know, be supportive. You know, I'm, there's a lot of there's a lot of Jamly members now. And to see everybody be so positive and so caring with, you know, the hateful comments that are, have been coming in. Um, there's ones that are not necessarily hateful, just misinformed, I guess would be the right word. And so I just want to thank you guys for coming in and being supportive and, you know, and saying and seeing the same thing I'm saying and seeing. And, you know, and letting these other people know without actually directly being harsh with them that hey you know what she's a good mom and hey we all saw the same thing she's saying which was you know whether it be this or that but this instance was with Sarah's arm that Sarah was definitely babying her arm she was very very careful with her arm and that I'm, I'm so happy you guys saw the same thing that I was saying and the same thing that I was saying which was the doctor gave permission for Sarah to go swimming and that's what should count above all else not what someone's opinion is or that they've broken bones before themselves and that this was the way to do things but and i understand people's concern and i really really do understand that people were just trying to give advice but you also have to remember to listen to the words that are spoken the doctor gave her permission to remove the brace to go in the water but to be mindful of her wrist and that's just what I want people to really understand is that to remember what was said to listen to what was said and I'm going by what a doctor showed me and what a doctor said was okay and so if Sarah had any further injury done that would most likely be on the doctor's part because the doctor had informed us of exactly what kind of break she has and what the precautions are with that kind of break um, she sees orthopedics tomorrow so for you guys it won't be till thursday you guys will see the video of her going to orthopedics and the orthopedist will do that we also got a really strange request and i'm just going to put it out there we are not making a video on it just so you know but we had a really strange request someone wanted sarah to sit down and do a video on exactly how painful her wrist is and how much it hurts and what a cast feels like on the inside but to be very detailed in how much it hurts um no we're not masochistic in any way um so we won't be doing that um i'm not gonna have my 14 year old sit in front of a camera and explain to you just how much pain she's in i could not believe somebody asked for my 14 year old to sit down and describe to them exactly what it felt like and how painful it was and to be descriptive about her pain that's just morbid I think Lily found a stick again. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you guys doing? She's getting so big, you guys. Look at hers. What are you doing? Oh, your ears are crusty. Will you quit sucking on her ears? It's really gross. Hi. <laughs> You're licking the air. What are you doing, goo? You gotta stop sucking on her ears. You guys, I don't know why he does that, but he keeps on like, he used to do it to Akira as well when we had Akira. Oh, stretch, that was a nice sound. So now I gotta come out here and clean this up because she chewed up, she found a big stick outside and she's broken it down to just shreds. 
Lily, you want one more of these? Come here. You want your last one? See, Tonks doesn't eat these things, guys, so don't get too like, oh, what about Tonkers? I'm gonna give him a different treat. But she likes these things. And they're nice and hard and chewy for her, so. Let's get Tonkers out. Let's get him out one of these things. You want one of these? Look at him excited. Uh oh. So, these are the ones that Tonkers likes. So we'll give him one of these guys. No, Lily, this isn't yours. No, come here. This is yours. This is yours. That's yours. No, you can't have his. What? She's like, but wait, I want that. Come get yours, Lily. Come get yours. Yours is right there. Look at her. She's like, but wait, I want one of those things. <laughs> I gave him one of the beef, the um, bacon strips. So, cause she's got the um, smoked, the smoked pig ear, the pig ear. So, ah, ah, out of the kitchen. Get out of the kitchen. No, you can't have one of these ones. You got that one over there. So, he, Tonks won't chew on the, the pig ear. For some reason, he's just never been one to chew on like hard, like hard, crunchy, um, like animal, like dog treats. So like the rawhide bones or even like, we got him once one of those big, huge, like knuckle bone type things that has like the bits of meat and all that on it. And he refused to eat it. Like he just refused to even touch it. So our other dog, Akira, when we had her, she ended up being the one to pretty much chow that down. I have got a huge mess to clean up from doing all that cooking yesterday. So, but yeah, <laughs> she's so pretty, she's so pretty. <laughs> she's like, what, yeah, mm, there you go, get it, where you going? She's like, I'm gonna find the sticks. Oh, that was good, I heard that big old burp. Oh, stretch it out, big boy. And this one's chillaxing, watching some videos. Oh, you two are darn cute together, you know that? Huh? You two are so cute together. Oh, Best friends. Best friends. <laughs> These two are best friends. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Yeah, she doesn't fit under him anymore, if you guys noticed. She's uh, taller than his belly now. She tries to still walk under him, but she's getting so big. Good babies. Lily. Hi, Petey Grill. Hi, babies. Look at you. <laughs> you gonna stand on her? Yeah. Just being a best friend. Yeah. He's like, I'm gonna bite her paws. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like a little diehard. She'll come over and just real, they get to really beating each other up. It's so funny. So it's evening. Taylor's having his cake after some burritos. Sarah's eating her burritos. Lily is going to town on her pig's skin twisty. Yeah. All right. Get that thing, girlfriend. And of course, he sees the camera, so he's like, I got to get right up to it, mom. <sighs> he sees the camera and he's like, I got it, come get it. This one's going to town, look at her go. A happy puppy in her bone. <laughs> he's getting so chubby. Yep. I need to take him out more. No, it's just he's got to stop eating her food. Sarah's like, ooh, that's hot. Ooh, that's hot. This is a momentous occasion. And one that I hope will go down. He's like totally into the show. He's not even paying attention anymore. <laughs> I'm like totally zoomed in on you.
<laughs> the way you're eating your cake is great. <laughs> Love you, kid. Mm, I think that was going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> the way he was eating it was hilarious. Mm. So now I just got to get the kitchen finished being cleaned. And get my last assignment finished. So anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this up because it's late and I'm exhausted and I still have one more assignment to finish. So I'm going to say if you guys like today's vlog, give it that thumbs up. And even if you didn't, just give it that thumbs up. You know, encourage us to keep on going. Uh, if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button, especially if you haven't done so already. That way, you can come back every single day, see us, because we vlog it every single day. Whether things are good, bad, or sometimes even boring, like today. So, hey guys, thanks again for watching. Bye. Guys, everything is chopped up. I'm ready to go. This last little bit, I just don't want this to get dry. But, there we go. And we've got our potatoes right here ready to go. And I'm going to follow my little instructions, just so that way I don't mess this up. I'm going to be making